Hey all, this is Zerson, and welcome back to the darkest assigned Bissell Estate, where we suffered our first casualty. I fear... I fear there will be many more, but we got 32 weeks in, more than half a year without losing anyone. That's pretty freaking good. Unfortunately, it was a veteran Vestal. Uh, one of our best lost fan, you will rest in peace, I hope. Uh, this place is kind of scary. On the other side, we also upgraded the Hamlet a bit, as you can tell. The Abbey's looking a little better for repair. We upgraded the uh, Penance Hall to make stress reduction cheaper, because if you can tell the people who went in that last veteran run, that long veteran run, they're a little effed up in the head right now, which we need to remedy quickly. They got diseases. Flexo got syphilis somehow from those pigs. I don't even want to know, man. I wasn't watching the whole time, but goddamn, son. Uh, so that's not so good. So we're going to do a couple things, and I want to get rid of crap. Just got locked in. Well, ain't that a bitch. I was worried. I'm like, this is probably getting locked in after this. It's like three times expense. God damn. All right, buddy. We'll see how long you last. Okay, friend? Uh, but anyway. <laughs> we also had enough cat. We almost have enough portraits to get Instructor Mastery 3. Which gives us... Um, we also, sorry, I'm digressing now. We upgraded weaponsmithing to rank three. So we're almost done with the, the forge. We also took the first furnace rank to cheapen up it up. Because we realized we're really ahead on weaponsmith and armorsmithing. And really, we need to make it cheaper because we're always shy on gold. This is going to be our next goal is to upgrade the furnace. The reason I did that, though, is so we can get even more experienced recruits. We can get level two folks once we get instructor mastery up. And that's really the next goal. We could have gotten another apprentice jester here, but we just got one. We just got one upgraded. Jackson Blaze earned his time with us. So you know what? I'm not going to throw him down. But uh, so that's kind of what we did in the in the uh, little hamlet here. Things are looking better, I got to say. Things are looking much better. But that being said, it's time to embark. Now, this week's missions, I mean, A, I'm a little gun shy. I saw 12 Ds, I was like, mine! But I was like, long veteran, I'm like, no! Plus, this reward kind of blows. So, uh, we looked around. This could be interesting. The uh, life crystal, the 20% max HP, is really, really... I know it's suicide, I'm not going to send you there, shush. Now it would last a minute! Yes, yes, we know. Life crystal. Cool stuff. I kind of want one of these, but it's just portraits. I mean, we could get more portraits for the... Instructor Mastery, so it wouldn't be terrible, but what I want to do is still get more deeds for cheaper furnaces. I want to keep upgrading my uh, new Apprentice Antiquarian, and it even came with level 2 gear, which is pretty nice. They kind of showed up with good stuff, so I feel like taking them along. Make this a good, like, eco run. Uh, get some good money from the Antiquarian's bonuses. It is just a short dungeon, so it's a good time to take a weaker party. But they're not weak by any means. We have Leroy Jenkins here. We've upgraded the abilities a bit. Not the gear, because it's still basic, uh, basic kind of run. He's going to be running the front position, so we're going to leave him with uppercut rather than flashbang. Uh, and the usual executions. We have a mark for death as well, because it'll synergize nicely with our grave robber in position too. With pick to the face, thrown dagger, which does 25% more damage versus mark targets. And poison darts, which gives blight. Um, not poison darts, good god, sorry. Flashing daggers, there we go, I knew I did something wrong. Uh, flashing daggers, it hits the middle two positions, and toxin trickery to cure those nasty beads and blights. Festering vapors and healing vapors, really that's all we care about, and ways to keep yourself alive. But she is a slugger and a wield scrounger, so not too bad. And last but not least, we have a healer, a new occultist now known as Vengeance. We need a new healer for the low-level dungeon, so we, he showed up on the caravan, we decided to pick him up. A uh, cultist who is god-fearing. It's a question of which god exactly in this case, probably the one with tentacles, but you know, we'll, we'll let him on the party for now. So we're going to uh, drink it up and we're going to provision. Good god. Kind of scary stuff, honestly. The first things first. Uh, we're going to go for the big healing stuff on Junia's head here, because we're going to be depending on him for the heals mostly. And that's 20% stress. We're going to counteract that with the Aria box. Unfortunately, we can't get any extra healing here, which is kind of unfortunate, but we do have, you know, healing, so it's not too bad. Uh, we can go Recovery Charm. I'm thinking I'm going to put that on my Grave Robber because she's a little more flimsy. And that would help out a lot. And probably going to do something that will increase damage. And for a short mission like this, I kind of feel like running the Legendary Bracer wouldn't be a bad idea. Or we could totally go all positives and increase my uh, Virtue Chance. We got a lot of positive virtues on Dreadmist, honestly. So we can either run that, or we can run the Legendary Bracer. I am kind of a fan of this, I don't want to nerf the speed too much. We also have Blooding Satchel, which increases the speed, less dodge, but more Blight Skill chance. And we can be depending on that a little bit. So I'm kind of leaning toward that as well. I'm going to put that there, just in case I really need that Blight to connect. It'll be good. Uh, the Apprentice Bounty Hunter, well, that's relatively simple, I think. We have the Bounty Hunter item, which is, you know, good. We want the uh, melee skills damage, which is awesome. You don't really depend on move skills for him. And since we already have plus damage, we could probably go with Virtue Ring, maybe. 
I mean, whatever, we have this damn thing, might as well stick it in there. STICK IT IN! And we're gonna go stress reduction on the antiquarian. We have healing received as well, which keeps her alive. I can totally see that being worthwhile. Is there anything else we particularly want in the antiquarian? Not really. I mean, she doesn't do a lot of damage, she doesn't do a lot of damage, and she doesn't have to be fast, so... That's really all we needed to look at here. We have decent stuns. I think this would be a perfectly fine party for a basic uh, run like that. And again, it's a short run. Shouldn't be much. We're gonna provision out and we're gonna go for it. Uh, this is, I think, in the wield, so we're gonna go and... Oh, wait, we already have a shovel coming along. We'll take three, because the wield is kinda shovel-intensive. Eight food, which should be sufficient. Let's take, like, six torches. We're gonna run a little lower on light, because we have kind of a double healing situation. Uh, then we'll go two keys. A lot of anti-venom here, mainly because of the trees and also the stuff that people blight you. Obviously, it's not gonna be a veteran dungeon, so it won't be as nasty, but I'm gonna take some holy water. I'll take one holy water, I think. Take... Um, I think a bandage, because we can get that body on the floor. Whoa! And then we can go with the medicinal herbs in case that becomes handy. But yeah, we'll kind of run it like this. A little lighter on provisioning, but we should be fine. Alright, let's rock and roll. So now that you know my logic, let's see if it pans out. No, we'll see. I mean, that last run's got me a little gun shy. I could use a nice little easy success for a change. We start on 80k. If we can make that back coming out of here, I'd be happy. Corruption has soaked the soil, Corruption. sapping all good life from these groves. 100% of room battles here, okay. Burn out this evil. Let's hope we get a scout here so we don't have to backtrack, but it'll be interesting. Speaking of the thing, this is the thing we need bandages for, I think. Yep, bingo. Exactly, I was talking about the body on the floor. Staunch the flow body see the flow, the let the body see the wall. Alright, do we have the abilities right? Let's see. Yes. 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 Alright, good. Okay, cool. See, these things are evil in the next rank. These things are freaking horrifying. How much is this? This is bleed resist reduction, damage mod minus 33. Really, the only thing I care about is this thing dying, so. Wait, what's more damage? This is crit mod 11, and we get more accuracy and damage resist mark. This is 100. Did you dodge at all? You have five dodge. Might make the difference, but this has a crit mod. That's really, really nice. Nice. It's a strong ability. There's no damage reduction on that, which is pretty cool. We can go Festering Vapors. We try to Blight the Blighter. That could be interesting. A 60% Blight resist. Weird, right? Uh, I just realized you don't have a lot of offensive abilities here. Let's see. Does it Blight? It Blights! Does it Blight? Does it Blight? Good. No Blight. On us, rather. Only on him. On the Fiend! We can Abyssal. Or we can pull. Or we can re- I mean, we haven't really taken damage, I just abyssal this thing. I just don't want him to have to deal with it, it's fine. Maintain okay, let's defensive. uppercut this little bastard. We can mark the- oh, there's a stun. I was say, we can mark the other guy if we really need to. There's gonna be some groping. Oh, he's rending the marked. That's right, there's no groping when you can rend. Why grope when you can rend? What you got? Uh, so what is- yeah, this is still more damage, more accuracy. Let me pitch that in. Let's go ahead and heal you. Big heal. No bleed. Me likey. Let's keep trying to festering vapor or something. Hey, those blights are hitting really hard. How good is our odds on the blight? Seriously. Festering vapors are doing 110 base, so 50 we're doing a 50% chance we hit it twice. Uh, where was that luck last time I needed to do something useful? God damn. Uh, let's mark uh, him for death. Reduce his prot and kill him with arrows and stuff. Arrowed! Five. Count him five damage. Rending the marked. Why are you guys not switched? You guys should be switched, technically. I don't know why I have the antiquarian in the front. It's kind of reducing my options. High throne dagger. That was plus damage? Really? That's kind of... It's kind of shit, if you ask me. Let me swap you around real quick, because this is bothering me. Oh, I should probably use a heal. He got a little whooped. I'll keep him alive. Oh, there's a bleed. That's okay. Well, we're gonna go collect the bounty on the marked guy and call it a day. Thank you. As the enemy crumbles. Confidence, sir. If, we're, if we hit this a third time, then we burn off all our luck on the entire mission. Oh my god. 36. Oh, we're reducing blight resist from what? Is it the thrown dagger? I think it may be. Or is it from the festering vapors? No? What is the... Is it from festering vapors themselves? It is, okay. 
So the second one's easier to hit with when you hit with one. We've gotten really, 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 really lucky, which is not gonna last. Obviously. Alright, well, we're just gonna... Yeah, this time I'm gonna rotate. This is silly. This is silliness. Go fortify up you. Crit heal. I them fortifying vapors. Big deal. Uh, let's just uppercut you real quick. <coughs> Apologies for that sneeze. I was holding that one in. Trying to make it not happen. What's up, dude? You got stunned. You got stunned. What's up, friend? Throwing dagger. Love that ability. So you're dead, no matter what happens. Yay. Don't really need you to do anything. Let's kill something. Kill the corpse. Kill the cannibal corpse. Wah! Alright. Sorry, I had a moment. Oh, come on, man. Fine. Be ye mocked! So many status effects, so little time. Weapon that cuts on its own. Great. Ooh, rare antique, a valuable find indeed. Alright, so I think we made back our cash, assuming we succeed already, which is nice. Advantage of an antiquarian on these missions. Okay. Uh, room fight. Room battle. As the light gains purchase, room kicking. Spirits are lifted. Oh, these fuckers. This is what killed our best the last time. The advanced versions, which have way more dodge. I mean, this is these things are just nasty. So we're gonna try to kill as many as possible. Good damage. Good damage. Can we flashing something? Dependably, no. I think throne would be best. We just pitch the guy in the back. Guaranteed to kill if it hits, which I like. A faint hope blossoms. A faint hope blossoms. Can we do? Yeah, these are really blight resistant. Probably been hitting this many. Yeah, there we go. That's our first resist. Nothing else to do at this point, though. Can we? We have something against beast, right? Don't we? We have just against human. Okay, doesn't really matter. Accuracy about the same. Crit mod six. So yep, that one. Ah, uh, no, we can't. Reach for a three. Nice. Good. Great and good. That bounty hunter's helmet's being very handy. We're not pulling, so that works out. Rabid rush. What's up? Now, these do so little damage compared to the uh, nastier versions. Jesus. Well, we can go toxin trickery, or we can just kill something. Let's just remove the bleed. Enjoy your toxins. Aww. I regretted that decision immediately. Alright. Yeah! Crit you right back, son. Alright. Well, we can't really fester. Let's just fortify. Fortify you with vapors. I'm gonna be vaping, son. Oh, there's a crit. With impunity. Called your bluff, friend. Not only a friend, that's kind of a rabid dog, really. Spurn news? I would spurn a rabid dog. That's what we got. Cool. Is that so? Ah. Untorchi. <laughs> Light it up. Gold. Trinkets and balls. Are you kidding? Dude! Every time! Can we please stop doing this crap with the collector? At least we have a better party to handle this with this time. But oh my god! Really? Really? That's what we're doing now? Really? Really? The collector. The motherfucking collector. Get blighted. What? Oh yeah, we ran out of our luck. That's right, I forgot. That was a 90% chance to blight and we failed. Okay, this is about the worst thing. A healer, a tank, and a damage dealer. Oh god, are you serious? Are you human or eldritch? You're just eldritch. Wow. The freaking collector. Oh, this guy just follows young parties around. What the hell? Head games? Yeah, you're protecting the collectors. So you need to not do that. Okay, this is gonna be really, really irritating. Get rid of the heal. Give them no we gotta start doing more damage to him. And in that, we need to stun the, uh... The dude. We're gonna have to fester up. I'm just gonna uncle fester you, I guess. Whatever. Yeah. You're gonna take it and blight, blight yourself. Get blighted. Alright, unfortunately, we have no choice but to deal with this. We don't have a stun handy right now. We can flashing daggers a bit. Do some more damage to multiple targets. Debuff on, blight, bleed resist. Okay, so we need to stun. To stun you so we can actually get at the collector. Which would be great. Nice, okay. But now he's gonna do collect call. He's gonna bring out more friends. We have a new Vestal. Crap, that's problematic. I should need to eliminate that Vestal. We're gonna have to start having problems. Got a bleed on. All right, we're gonna try to f get some festering up on this dude. No fun. I wanna keep him like, not doing much, ideally. Oh man. 
Show collection, there's some stress. I'm gonna headhunt on my antiquarian. Ow. Okay. So what can we do? We need to start doing... Oh, we need to do a lot of things, but namely we gotta drop this Vestal too. Because this is gonna be problematic. When she heals him, like, she heals a lot. It's really irritating to have the, con the uh, collected Vestal up and constantly dealing with that. Headstrong. Say that, exactly. Exactly that. Ugh, I really wanted to start just doing damage to multiple targets here, but we need to... We also need to heal up this guy. Cause a couple crits and we're in trouble. Shit, this is really... I hate the Collector! I hate the fucking Collector so much! And he always shows up. Yaf laf lagen! Everything runs red. Are you human? Good. I could mark, but I'm just gonna try to quickly burn him down at this point. This is getting a little problematic. I need to do more damage. I barely, barely touched him. Throne Dagger. Yeah, let's just... Keep focusing. There's a good crit. A good crit. Alright, and we can go... Yeah, we can totally go hit this guy further. I mean, the sooner we burn him down, the better. We're gonna push it a little bit on Leroy Jenkins here. But he is Leroy Jenkins! So, he didn't collect call this time, which is nice. We don't have another one to worry about. Fester him. Fester him further. I know we're, like, just really tanking out here, but... I know you need a bandage, bro. Let's go ahead and do the damage versus the human. Sort of. I mean, he's vaguely human-ish. So as long as he doesn't heal, we should be okay. So we're gonna take one nasty shot, which we're gonna need to heal up. Oh, it's gonna be the... Yeah, she's... The Antiquarian's getting a little low, I'll be honest with you. She needs to heal herself up a bit. Now we're gonna go Throne Dagger here, and this should be the end of him. She bleeds. No, no, he's gonna bleed out. Not quite yet. Uh, I could kill him right now, but I'm gonna need to heal myself or else I'm gonna burn. Or I'm just gonna depend... I'm just gonna depend on my, um, this dude to heal him. Yep. You need to die. He's gonna guarantee die as soon as he moves. Perfect. Head games! Too bad that I'm protecting against Blight, bitch. This is starting to sting now, though. Uppercut you. I need to mitigate some of the- Damn it! Not what I intended. Occultist, yeah. Reconstruct. Nice heal. Nice heal. Very good heal. Now we're okay. We need to heal up our bounty hunter. We'll be alright. Really does not like our antiquarian. I'll give her that much. Give him that much, rather. Alright, chip you. And then we have this guy just pretty much down. Head games! Yeah, this time we came with a bit of a stronger party. We actually have a healer that's not an antiquarian, so... Yeah, we're gonna go fortify yourself a bit. We have the heal me more stuff, so that's pretty good. Alright, we should probably heal our bounty hunter. Mmm, not such a good heal. And we got the bleed, so that's basically a net loss, more or less. Now we gotta stun you, apparently. Protection is an irritation. Ow. Glad we missed it, because that would have that would have been painful. Alright, kill him, please. Thank you. This is most worthwhile use of my time. Alright, uh, fortifying vapors. Yep. Keep yourself alive. Keep burning that bleed. She's getting two bleed. Alright. Better heal. Mmm. Oh my god, are you serious? Still in that loss. Come on! Like, can we get. <laughs> and a dodge. Okay. Odd, but I'll take it. Got a lot of protes, dude. Just keep healing yourself. She's doing alright, it's just. <laughs> Our bounty hunter's not getting healed worth a damn. Come on. Wow, if you stack another bleed, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Okay, thank you. There we go. You're gonna be bleeding for one more. Yeah, alright. Hey, puzzling trapezohedron. So we really making cash on this. But oh my god, the collector again. That dude never leaves us alone. He's such a little douchebag. Every time we're in here with a younger party, it's like, guess it's time for! It's time for the collector! And then he's just this little prick. Ah! Anger, rage, fills me. What do we got? Uh, it's another battle. Alright. He is what it is. This is a fetish. We can purify this, can't we? Uh, yeah, let's do it here. Powerful effect. Balanced! A boon at last! What do we get? Move resist. Cool! That's good. Oh, uh, we have a fight in the room. Right, okay. So we will have to backtrack left a little bit, but yep, hunger event. So I don't eat food until we have hunger events in these short dungeons, so you can easily get two. I've been unlucky enough to have that, so. The way is yeah. lit. 
The path is clear. We have only to follow. We require only the strength to follow. Follow the Emperor. Oh god, stress and extra ectos. Great. Are you blight resistant? You're not really blight resistant. I have ninety percent chance to blight you. All right, blight the blighters. So we can get some. We can get kills on nearly everyone. We can probably focus her down easiest. I think she's in third position. We can stun and focus her down first. Uh, yeah, we're gonna abyssal. We're not gonna heal right now. I want to get kills. Yes. Yes. So close. So next turn she's dead no matter what. She already moved. So no point to attack her anymore. So we're gonna run probably. See, when you distribute stress and damage, it's not as bad as the dungeon, you know? But the problem is, when you don't, you get wrecked. Like we did last time, it was really unfortunate. Alright, let's try to kill these things. Another Eldritch Abomination. He's kind of having a rough time with these Eldritch things. Let's try to kill... This is the biggest crit bonus, right? Yeah. Another one falls. Another one bats the dust. Hey, 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 Slime. He didn't Ecto Cooler. That's good. Uh... But I wanted to kill you. All right, well, guess I get to do that now. I suppose. What's it? Back to the pit. Back to the pit. That's good. I every time. I don't know. I must get old to you guys. I love that line. Back to the pit. No, no, no. I'm a famished. Why would you? Why would you do that? You got syphilis. Where did you put that food? Oh god. Oh god, where did you put that food? I don't want to know. Herself, a victim to the spreading corruption. <laughs> with the spreading corruption. Rah, let's go. Let's see what we got here. Yep, we need to do the room battle, so I'm glad we're here. I mean, I'm not glad we have these bitches again, but you know. Whatever. Festering vapors, same strategy. Same strategy, worked pretty well. You ah damn it we missed ninety percent. This is what happens when you get lucky. Gonna get up to get down or something. Whatever I don't know. Is there a get lucky reference in there somewhere? There probably is. Can we throw something at you? Oh, they're both equally shitty to kill. Yeah. Now I can't get at her. Probably should have thought of this. Uh, we can uppercut though, or we can mark for death her. Let me take less damage. Well struck. We might be able to move her forward. Yeah. It's not gonna help now, I guess, but all right, whatever. A stressful incantation. The slime. Now the slime. All right, thrown dagger. It's cute, bitch. Yeah. There's a lot of freaking damage. I like it. You can't get blighted. You also have two hit points. We can hit them though. Two damage is enough to kill. And we're gonna go uppercut you, so we have some chances to heal around a bit. Wow, double crit. This dude's critting like a boss. Let me get us a bleed for three. Oh, good. We didn't suck it up. So nice. I'm gonna heal yourself up, actually. I'm getting a little flimsy. I wanna keep you alive, oddly enough. You collect things for me. We have our own collector, so huh. Be gone, fiend. Grave robbers are good class. I like them a lot. I don't really use them as much. Ooh, what is this? Be wary. Bag of marbles. Triumphant pride <laughs> You've lost your marbles. More dodge though. That's pretty cool. Antiquarian only item gives you more dodge. Yeah. It fits with the teammate. See, hunger event. Two in a short dungeon. This is why we bring extra food. In we could have gotten more from there. May we find victory. This is bring extra food. If we get a third one, then we're just terribly unlucky. Because if you don't have food, you take damage and stress. If you've noticed. Uh, this is the one with sap. Anti-venom? Yeah. We got, ooh, rubies. Nice. To be nice. Uh-huh. Gravedigger doing grave digging. Oh, really? We ran out. Okay, we can we can light up the last torch. I'm totally cool with that. Light up the last torch. The light him up. Struck. Uh, we do that. Star we could born. run the holy water on someone. Let's run it on you. So get killed. And we'll run the crest. The jade is okay. I constantly put off money. I guess it's my fault. Like, I constantly put away money for like items, but you know what? It's part of why I'm probably not doing as well on food. I mean, on cash. Food. Eh. Same thing. Lie and wait. Damn it. That's, a, that's a big, that's a big blight. But there could be another anti-venom thing, so. Okay, I'm not gonna burn my anti-venom yet. We can heal this out. What we got. What we got. We can stack some blight on you! Alright, you start killing these things in the back. That's what we do. 
That's how we do. Good shot. These things are not blightable, but they are damageable. I have a feeling like I could do that. I got lucky the last couple times. Zero damage. Got the blight. And the blight. Good dodge. That would have sucked. Death Ooh, waits. crits. For the slightest lapse in, in concentration. concentration. Alright. We're gonna try to kill something. Those things are scary. I don't like them in the back. Give me that abyssal. Oh, you got abyssaled. So that guy's dead next round, so no point hitting him again. That one needs to die soon. We're gonna flashing daggers that probably. Red and the mocked. Ow, my face and hands. Now we're gonna actually heal up here. So I really don't want her to die. It would be awful. It'd be bad form, really. Bad form indeed. Ow. Dude. That is not cool. I'm not amused. Flashing daggers. Good shot. Alright, now. We can go ahead and collect some bounties on this guy. Yes, we did. And how. They're just way the weakest. In the crotch. Too damn... Dude, better heals. Better heals, please. When your antiquarian is out healing you, you're doing something wrong. Can I just say? Slowly. Not knocking antiquarian. They're not exactly a healing class. This is how a Ow. Is taken. This is starting to sting. This is starting to sting. You need to get some heals up in here, stat. Now we're going to actually heal up the bounty hunter with the two, and we're going to heal up the bigger heal here if we can. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Probably should have stunned, but... Okay, let's see what happens. No bleed. Good. And we're in the mark. Four, seven. Wow, he's in death's door? One away. One away. One away. Wow. That's harsh, bro. Good stuff. All right, Success what can we so do? Clearly in view. Probably get rid of this. Or is it merely a trick the light? light? Emerald's also 500 worth. Probably pitch the antivenom at this point. Take it like that. Yeah, I predicted that's what was going to happen. It is the last part. How about we do in case this trapped here? A map of the area. Okay, what do we got? Any intel? In oh, no intel on the area, actually? Like, we found the map of the area, but no intel on the area. All right, you know, we're pretty low on health. I could go into the last room and really, really push it, push it some more. But we could get another hunger event. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got we made, made up the money we took in on this quest, so we had a collector. I consider that a good day's the run. Of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. The agents of pestilence. Ah. Yeah, agents, pestilence. What do you say about agents? Says drunk uncle. All right, good, great and good. What do we get? Stress faster, night blindness, stress healed, and nervous. Just, just straight up nervous. Dude is just nervous all the time. Just freaks out for no reason. Ah! Where are you? Oh, no way. Free upgrade, another one. That's huge. Wow, we cured the syphilis and the black plague. Those crazy nuns in the sanitarium know what's up. All right, so we need to clear a couple things out too. Zergen, you need to un... Undisease yourself. Rabies and the fits. Yeah, minus 15 accuracy. This is what gets you. Let's cure the fits. Um, deal with that. Now, Robocop, for, we still need to de-stress these guys a bit. You've been you've been working hard. What are you? Fear humans, fear beasts, slow draw, and curious. This dude's gonna get himself killed one day. But we do need to de-stress you. You're only at 51, so we could probably do some cheap de-stressing. What's what's best here? What is cheapest? What is cheapest? Uh, it's gonna be the bar. All right. Maggots. All right. He says something about maggots in his mouth. That's kind of fucked up. All right. Yep. Meditate a bit. Meditate on your sins. Flexo. You can pray, right? Yep. I think this is the place that has the more cheaper. So 1575 versus the taverns. Oh yeah, he can't. That's right. He's the problem gambler. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna spend some time in church this time. All right. One two power. All right. Good. So, cool, but a free building upgrade, that's huge. You do a really expensive one. Uh, we could go on the next guild upgrade, we can do the next level of Instructor Mastery, which would be huge, or, because we don't need that yet, necessarily, we can easily get the Portress for it, I think we already just did. What we can do, however, is get the Blacksmith up here, and getting max Armorsmith with 44 deeds otherwise, that's huge. The Furnace will upgrade, that'll be in due time. 
but getting one of these early is going to be great. So we're going to go rank five. Look at that, 44 and 49. We saved that. That's amazing. We are raising an army. We are raising an army. What are we doing here? Is portraits, right? Yeah. I I haven't really improved this place at all because it's been instructors here, and the Abbey's doing just fine with the uh, the busts. So what can we do here? 24. Yeah, we need six more. Uh, portraits and a couple more crests. That's we'll get that. No worries. That was a worthy investment, though. Seriously, down the line. I'm playing the long game here. Okay, long game. That's 44 deeds we don't need, which is pretty awesome. All right, cool. So that went relatively well. Even dropped the collector again, despite his best efforts to screw up another one of our young runs. But all right, good job, everyone. I'll see you all next time on the darkest side of Missile Estate. Till then.